All right, this is 5.1 dividing polynomials by x. So this is the typical problem you're going to see where you'll have a trinomial or a binomial, uh, and it's going to be over. It'll only be x in this uh, section here. It'll change up eventually. Um, basically, what this means when you have several different terms in the numerator and only one term in the denominator, it's like three different divisions at once, right? So uh, it's basically 2x to the third over x plus negative 5x squared over x plus 4x over x, okay? And I'll teach you guys a shorter way to do it. I uh, know it's very intuitive, uh, but this is more looking for the, the helpful uh, technique here, okay? Uh, if I looked at each one of these individually, it'd be much easier, right? So 2x to the third over x, one of these x's cancels out one of these x's, so I'd be left with 2x squared. Okay, negative 5x squared over x, one of these x's would cancel out one of these x's, so minus 5x. And the same thing, 4x over x, x cancels out x, so plus 4. Okay, this is my answer. Okay, uh, one thing you'll notice is if you just look up here, the only thing that's different, this was 3, now it's 2. This was 2, now it's 1. This was 1, now it's 0. There's no variable or anything, right? So all you're doing is subtracting 1x from each term, okay? As long as you get that uh, concept down, you'll be able to do any of these problems. I can put up as complicated a problem as I want up here, right? If I were to say negative 98x to the third minus 52x squared plus 95x over x, I don't really care what the coefficients are, right? All I'm going to do is take an x from there, an x from there, an x from there, right? So before it was negative 98x to the third, negative 98x squared. Negative 52x squared, negative 52x. 95x, 95. Okay, that's as simple as it is. You just take one x out from each one. That will get different when we start talking about remainders. This is when you can divide it perfectly. Section two, we'll look at this remainder. Okay.